YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today is Saturday, July 9th, 2022, and I hope y'all are safe and healthy. For today's video, we are going to take a look at a hybrid build that offers a lot of damage through your weapon, a drone, and a turret. And I'm going to show you guys how this works, and we are going to start with the build gameplay, follow it up with the build breakdown. YouTube, roll the clips. Nearby hostage situation. hostile.
Okay guys, let's take an overview of the build. We are using the Technician Specialization. We are using the Capacitor Exotic AR as our primary. We have the Coyote Mask, one piece of Grupo, one piece Venris, two piece Hannah U, and one piece Wyvern. Here's a look at our specialization tree, the Technician. We are using this for the extra skill tier, the extra skill damage, and then also you always wanna make sure that you have whatever weapons you are using, you wanna have that extra damage uh, activated. For the primary weapon, we are using the Exotic Assault Rifle, the Capacitor, and the talent says shooting enemies builds stacks to cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage after 5 seconds, stacks decay 1 per second. For each skill tier, gain 7.5% weapon damage. For the secondary, I went with the Harmony Named Rifle. Uh, the reason for this is for the Perfectly In Sync talent, which says hitting an enemy grants plus 20% skill damage for five seconds. Using a non-shield skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants plus 20% weapon damage for five seconds. Damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. Now, I don't use this weapon a whole lot in this build. I'm mostly using the capacitor, but this would be great for those enemies at long range. Moving on to our first piece of gear, we are using the exotic Coyote's Mask. This comes with weapon damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, and then I've got a critical hit damage mod on this. And then the talent says, uh, it's called Pack Instincts, and it says you and all allies gain a bonus based on the distance of the last enemy you hit, zero to 15 meters, plus 25% critical hit damage, 15 to 25 meters, plus 10% critical hit damage, and plus 10% critical hit chance, 25 meters plus, plus 25% critical hit chance. For the chest piece, we went with the named Grupo chest piece, the door kicker's knock, and this is gonna give us 15% critical hit damage, and then it's got weapon damage, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and then another critical hit damage mod on this. The talent is perfect spark, which says damaging enemies with a skill increases total weapon damage by 15% for 20 seconds. For the holster, we went with the Fenris holster, which is going to give us that plus 10% assault rifle damage. And then we've got weapon damage, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage rolled onto this. Moving on to the knee pads, we are using the Wyvern knee pads, which is going to give us plus 10% skill damage. And we've got a skill tier, skill damage, and then critical hit chance rolled onto these. On the gloves, we've got our first piece of Hannah U, which is gonna give us 10% skill haste. We've got another skill tier, skill damage, and then critical hit damage rolled onto these. And last but not least, for the backpack, our second piece of Hannah U. This is the named backpack, the Force Multiplier, which is gonna give us plus 10% skill damage. And then we've got a skill tier, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and then a critical hit damage mod on this. And the talent is Perfect Combined Arms, which says shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30% for five seconds. For the first skill, I went with a Striker Drone. This thing's gonna take a lot of heat off of you and it's gonna do a lot of damage. And for the second skill, I went with the Assault Turret. Taking a look at the stats, we are at 49.8 critical hit chance. Now that is a little bit lower than I'd like. I'd like to be at at least 50 and then let the Coyote buff take me the rest of the way but I'm not fully optimized just yet. Uh, and then for the critical hit damage, we are at 184.6, so that's pretty good. And then we've got a uh, skill tier four for our drone and our turret. That's gonna do it for today's build video. I hope you found it helpful. If you do, be sure to smash the like button. And if you're interested for more content like this in the future, be sure to subscribe. Guys, we are closing in on 500 subscribers. I can't thank you all enough. I'm hoping this video will push us over that milestone and I can continue to keep making content for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.